How's it going guys? Malkins here. Uh, we're gonna be having a build update here. This is like my second day in the Falconer, uh, level 81. It is the ethical version of a Falconer. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so how is the character doing? It is crazy offensive and very active gameplay to be honest with you. It's, it's not that chill because like you're pressing almost every single button. I didn't manage to get rid of smoke bomb um, cooldown tracking a little bit. It's a little bit more automated now so that I enjoy that this is something that I've implemented just very recently. Um, I am also going with the aerial assault right now on the second day but to be honest with you I do believe for especially hardcore shift is better. The reason that I'm using Aerial Assault right now is that the game is pretty easy right now. Even though I just jumped into Empower it, so maybe like I'll reconsider it. But also I found the Talents of Valor and this bow is absolutely insane. It, it was maximum rolled basically like Falconry, Die Bomb and Aerial Assault. It all gave me plus four because it could also roll like one, only one. Uh, so this was a pretty lucky drop. Unfortunately, it was pretty unlucky when it comes to like, you know, making it into a legendary. It was an LP one, but it ended up grabbing the blind on hit, which is terrible. But it is what it is, right? Like the bow is still pretty good. And for the rest of the day, uh, when I'm starting my third day of the stream here with the Falconer, uh, I'm actually going to be, you know, searching for like probably some relics, but at the same time, some bows once again. I'll try to like find a very, very good Talons of Valor if I can, because it's extremely big in my opinion. The problem with finding like an LP2 is it is possible to find an LP2, but then you will mouse over it and it will look like plus two to Falconry, plus one to Dive Bomb, you know, then it's kind of ruined. You don't really want to run that at all. Um, so yeah, as you guessed, uh, Dive and, and Falconry is like our main, uh, to see the entire build, obviously in the description down below, there's going to be a build link, uh, you could check it out, but how the game, like how the character plays, we could jump into a mono and from there, it, it could even be an empowered one. And from there we can kind of talk about like how the game, uh, the character plays. So with the aerial, you jump around. Uh, and then I have like a very potent slow on my Q, so it is called Net. Net is also capable of using my smoke bomb on cooldown, so it, it doesn't necessarily spam it right over there into the shadows. When directly using the net, you also throw your smoke bomb after jumping. I had, I was actually questioning like since it mentions after jumping. Um, since I removed the jumping from my net, right, I was wondering if it's going to still, um, go ahead and use the smoke bomb because I'm not jumping anymore. But yeah, it does, definitely. As you can see, like, the character is hitting extremely hard. But, you know, you gotta be careful, especially with my character right now. I'm not that good geared. I don't really have good armor. I don't really have full glance. And um, and I just jumped into Empowered. So if you think about it, like, I'm only going to get stronger from here. I really, really should be, like, a little bit careful, especially while making this video as well. This is also why, like, you're not seeing me jumping into them, rather just, like, circling around them. One more thing about the rogue, most of the rogue builds are like this, is that um, when you're moving, you're taking less damage because of like certain passives, obviously. So Falconer is double dipping with this. Uh, one of them is right over here, the Tailwind. It is. It says 4%, but it's actually 8% because like our Falcon is hitting and it's double dipping that. And on top of that, in the rogue, so this is this goes for every single rogue, it is minus 20% damage taken while moving. So you gotta be like on the move. This is also putting a little bit more importance to having the Falcon strikes and 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 the and the dive bomb um, being instant from the intuitive connection. So. Intuitive connection is actually there's there's normally some sort of like a cast points like an animation a very very small one But your character needs to stop to cast them uh, It's not that annoying, but just because of like how you are taking less damage while on the move uh, As a rogue, I think you kind of need to like click that intuitive node and make it uh, Yeah, make it instant cast for sure Another int interesting thing about this net especially and one of the main reasons that I'm still keeping it is because like it's not only the netted targets are taking more damage from my falcon 
But also there's this over here, the Tangled Prone, which is saying enemies cannot dodge and enemies cannot avoid crits. Very, very interesting because that's uh, pretty much like disables the monolith nodes where the monolith says something along the lines of like, you know, the mobs are avoiding criticals or... Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be dodging. Like, it gets very annoying for, like, melee characters or on-hit on effect characters, basically. But in this in this case, it's turning out to be fine. Like, my damage is very good, and we can definitely play this, like, so much more offensive. But it is um, it is pretty scary, and I don't want to lose this character. <laughs> so my approach is a little bit more on the hesitant and, and like, I don't know, defensive side, let's say. And this was like a good showing. I really like that. Like you know, this this um, echo, in my opinion, was a very very good showing for this character. Simply because this wasn't necessarily the easiest run, um, because of the monster type, and the density was pretty much up there too. And most of the enemies that we were fighting, they're actually very beefy. It seems like so it was a good showing for like the damage of the character as well. I liked this a lot. So, this is like one of the harder monos that I have done so far with this character, so it's just very good. So you can at least like see when when you're like trying it, it's a bit harder how it actually looks. Let's put it that way. Alright, Die Bomb is actually sh ro um, rolling on the chest piece apparently. So this is how the character plays right now. And I'm going to be putting only on top of this, hopefully, T7 half necklace right there. Very nice job. So there are a couple of pieces that I really, really need to upgrade. Like my helm is absolutely terrible. My quiver is just defensive nodes, right? Like there, there are some like really questionable items on me and I'm going to be going over them on the stream and I'll try to like basically find some upgrades for the rest of the day. Another like very important thing for me to do is basically like, just like as, as I talked on another video, like blessings are crazy important now and I have very poor blessings on this character. So it will only like put on top of the... Um, uh, of the defensive that I have, defensives that I have uh, on this character. My glancing uh, is right now, it says 92%, but I think I have a proc that is being calculated right now. I, I do not be like, I think I need to get hit right now, and that 92% is going to be changing into something else afterwards, even though the interface is not showing, because... Um, all right, so I have 15% glancing over here, and I have 10% uh, here, so it's 25 in total, and then I have 10% over here, so it's going to be 35% glancing, and then I have 16% going coming from here, so 45, uh, 51. I think we have, we should have 51% glancing, in fact, right now, so um. I might actually look into going more blade dancer points. I didn't necessarily like make so much um, theory crafting for this character, and there, there's there's a couple more nodes that I really am interested in to max out, and I'm already like level 81, so like there are only 19 nodes remaining or points remaining for me to like spend, obviously. Uh, so it's going to be cutting it very close, or I might need to like go to the build planner and try to like you know plan something that's like good. Couple of questions to you guys. I don't necessarily know if these nodes are working. So for instance, look at this one. You deal more damage, right? When I spend three points into this, you deal more damage per stack of slow on the targets. Slow can stack up to three times. So when I am basically netting something, Slow stacks when free. Uh, yeah, when 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 they are free, they have a maximum amount of slow stacks. That also means that like I'm going to be dealing six percent more multiplier to them. Uh, very very big node right over here. At least like three points into this is extremely big. But I don't know if my falcon is managing to gain that. You know what I mean? Because like it says you deal more damage. So. Does that include the Falcon? I, I'm I'm not necessarily sure. So I'm gonna need to like test this. And six percent is like a low number. I'm I'm not sure if I will be able to see the difference. That's one of the things, right? So 
the other thing is obviously like what your falcon is gaining from you is is yet another thing definitely there's some very interesting stuff obviously like you can just mouse over and see what they're scaling with it is instant cast minion melee and physical so like anything that is like melee minion and physical is actually gotta remind yourself working for the falcon strikes as well the same thing can be said for the tags of dive bomb it is melee physical minion instant cast and dexterity so you could in fact go for like um you know, some sort of like a melee pluses, uh, melee character with like a shield and like grab yourself much more glancing blows by getting more block chance. Therefore, you're going to be always glancing no matter what. But then you are not going to be running Talons of Valor now, are you? So it, it is like some, some interesting balance that is going on here that is like kind of pushing me to play with a bow. But at the same time, you know, like the tanks are like melee. But it is minion melee, I think. But it does have a, you know, complete melee tag. Like I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's actually gaining from the uh, melee bonuses that you would otherwise gain too. So I, I will be, you know, on the, on the, on the way, basically, as I like play in the next couple of days and like discuss these things with the stream. I think I'm going to be getting to more, you know, clear state of mind, let's say, and we'll be, you know, in grasp of things and in the more recap videos that are going to be coming your way it's going to be 100 percent uh clearer but these are the things that i want to like figure out coming uh in, in the upcoming days uh definitely and while doing that i really want to survive because if there's one thing that i can tell you it is the fact that the character is pretty squishy right now and i could easily see myself just dying out of there and i'm like okay i'm dead i guess <laughs> one last thing that i'll mention that I'm really looking forward to getting is maximum HP with this character. I want to have the maximum amount of HP that I can get because there's something called here uh, the Outlander's Tenacity and it gives you maximum half gained as endurance threshold. Um, this is very interesting because like most of the time in this game these type of nodes they're a little bit underwhelming okay but this one I calculated it goes all the way up to like 15% maximum health gained as endurance threshold 15 percent so like i was thinking to myself if i can get to 3000 hp that's 450 threshold out of nowhere literally out of nowhere i'm like what that is crazy just from one node it it, it is in, in, indeed like incredible it is insane so i'm gonna need 60 percent endurance and I might actually look into going as high health as possible in this character, which requires your like idols, obviously, or all the itemization, uh, as much um, health rolls as possible. And then obviously, like the blessings can be said the same. And I might even try to go for the old resistance over crit avoidance on the reign of dragons, even though I mentioned how important the crit avoidance is for this character, simply because like getting old resistance is probably going to help me cap out my resistances. And therefore it is going to translate into more health from my gear because it's, it's the same slot of suffixes, right? So th these are like what is going on in my mind. And for the rest of the day, I'm just going to go like prophecies, spam some like bow prophecies basically and try to gain some like unique bows and hoping that like i can at the very least find like falconry die bomb plus four lp2 talents and we can go gamble a little bit i hope so so thank you for watching this was a day two recap of my falconer uh and i'm hoping to hit like level 90 or something on stream today so we'll see you tomorrow youtube thank you for watching peace